this is Betty with Betty Stepping Crazy. I have a court card here, which it's, um, I hope it's going to be quick. I did this one in the yellows and oranges, <clears throat> and I'll show you the uh, p uh, products that I used for this. I used the Flourish Thinlets, and what I used was these flowers right here. Let me get them off right quick so I can show you. These uh, three flowers right here, and then I used these leaves right here, and I cut these leaves up. I'll show you that when we get to it. Uh, I want to do the next one in p the pinks, so I will let you know about the colors of the pinks, but I don't remember these colors right now. Um, I also used for the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for the uh, sentiment, I used the ovals again. I really like these ovals because they really don't take up that much room, but you can get a pretty good size oval in them, uh, sentiment in them. This one is the smallest, no, it's the next to the smallest, I'm sorry, next to the smallest of the, um, hang on just a second, Alyssa, quiet baby, <laughs> the, um, it's the next to the smallest of the, <sighs> oh, was with a little frilly on them, I oh, can't think right now, I'm sorry. And then this is the, uh, next to the smallest of the straight ovals, and that's for the white, whisper white, and this is for the color part out here. Okay, the stamp set that I used is called uh, uh, Flourishing Phrases, and I used just a note. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Since I, I, like I said, I am doing this in the pinks, and right now I'm using... The, the base card is going to be the pink pirouette, and I cut it at four and a quarter by eleven, and I scored it at five and a half. That's the base card. Then for the matte card, I used the rose red, and it's cut at five and a quarter by four. And then for my white, whisper white, it's cut at five by three and three quarters. Okay, here is the flowers. The bigger one I cut in the rose red. This one is cut in the flirty flamingo, which is one of our new in colors. And this one is cut in the pink pirouette. I also cut the leaves out in the emerald envy, with emerald envy which is another one of our in colors. The base with the scallops on it, oh, I remembered, is cut in the rose red. And for the sentiment, of course, we'll have the Whisper White, and I have a piece of scrap over here that I will be stamping it on. But for right now, I want to get this base ready. I'm going to get these back stamping done. Let me put these to the sides, because what I did was I took these flowers and put them together. You'll see the, the Rose Red, the Flirty Flamingo, and the Pink Pirouette, and I put them right together in the middle. That's the only place I put them. And I made two of those for the card. Now on this, I'm going to stamp it in the Rose Red. Let me move this up here. And what I'm going to do, since Rose Red is such a dark color, I want to stamp it off, so I have a piece here that I'm going to stamp it off on. Whoops. Let's pull that off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp it off. I'm going to stamp one right here. And then I'm going to do that th two more times. Right here. Okay, and then I'm going to do one out here. Okay. That's it on that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And then I will get it cut out in a minute. This is just a note. And I'm going to stamp it right over here. Okay. And I believe that's it for this. Nope. I forgot. I need to sponge it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right quick. I will be right back with you. Okay, I'm back, and what I'm going to do is, okay, couldn't find it there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and sponge this so I can close up my ink. Put that 
rose red is such a pretty color. Yes. I think I'm going to like this better than I will the oranges and yellows, but I do like the orange and yellow. Okay, let's go ahead and close this up. Get that out of the way. And move this. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. This, you can tell this is scrap. I had something else on it. But always use your scraps. You know how that is. Okay. Let's put them on there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the dimensionals on the back of this. It's the only thing that gets dimensionals on this card. You might hear my grandchildren every once in a while they're here. Okay, and like I said, I've already put these together. So I'm going to go ahead and use a... I think I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this, plus I might put a glue dot down. But what I'm going to do is just put a little bit around the edge here. Come on. Watch it come out all at once. Okay, now we're back. I had to unclog my glue. So, let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to put some here, 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 and here. Because I didn't like the other card where it was just down that one place. I'm going to kind of place it in the middle of this. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Put a little bit around the edges here. And then put here, here, here. And here and here. Whoops. Missing a few places. Set this down right here. And then I'm gonna take these. And I wanted I would just wanted the leaves on these, but I didn't want to have to cut out that individual leaf on every one of them. So I'm just gonna cut this leaf off on these. take a little bit of glue on the end of these and put it down in here put these up a little bit put that one down in there and I think I'm going to put another one right up here have it going out the other direction Lift it. I want that one going. Whoops, let's not put that down so far. There, and then I'm going to put one more right down here. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on our mat. Okay, that's good. And I'm also going to go ahead and put it on its base. Turn this around. Okay. 
move these up just a little. That should do it. And this. I didn't really want a whole lot on this, but I did want it to be kind of simple. And I put this off to the side when I cut it because uh, normally I would do this with, hmm, do I want to use these? This is the Melon Mambo. I didn't use the Melon Mambo in there, but I did use the Flirty Flamingo. Let's see what it looks like with these. These are our enamel dots. And I love these things. I've got it on order to get the rest of the colors because they do come in all of our colors. These are our in colors though. So let's go ahead and put, come on. I want one here. And one here. I know you're, they say put them in threes, but I just wanted two on this one. And then, of course, all you have to do is just close it up. So, get your bone folder. And there you go. Just a simple card for a friend. Maybe just send them a note. Say just a note. And on the inside, you could put another piece of white. And, uh, you know, say, well, just a note to let you know I'm thinking about you. Or, or some, you know, just anything you want to put in there. But um, anyway, this is my card, and uh, I'll try to hurry up and get it edited and uploaded as soon as I can. And this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy. Thank you.